Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And of course, we're always on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Well, I'm back um, trying to finish up this little, kind of this little yearbook that we started a couple of days ago using the envelopes. I'm, get, I'm working on getting my glue open here. Um, <laughs> you may remember last year for Christmas, my sister-in-law gave me a dozen Uhu um, for Christmas, part of my Christmas gift from her. And it has been so appreciative. Uh, I have been, for sure. I've really appreciated it. And I decided to just unwrap it as I needed it, just kind of for fun, remind me of Christmas with her. So that was super fun. So I opened another one um, to start using today. I still have my big chubby one, but sometimes it's just too much for a small area. We may get it out if I need it, but anyways. So yeah, so yesterday after... Uh, we got done. I went ahead. I had the blue one on here. And remember, it was just shy. I had not taken in consideration when I used the last flap of the envelope to allow for a spine. So um, it didn't cover the pages completely. So I had this, I don't know what you call it, trim, I guess you could call it. Um, basically, what this trim is I had gone to a flea market and for a dollar got a bag of wonderful trims, ribbons, laces, everything you can imagine. And in there was a bottom of this gauze, I don't know if you can see that, uh, skirt. So it had obviously been well loved, probably was lined, um, well loved, but the bottom of the skirt was in there. So I, what I did is I just took about a quarter of an inch maybe half an inch on either side of all of this and just ripped it. The skirt was different colors of this type of trim, this wonderful, I don't know what you would call it, woven trim, different colors. And I'm sure it was quite beautiful skirt in its day. So I just took it and um, tore it into strips along the sides of each of the color. You'll see this probably in other videos that I'll do at some point. Um, but I thought this would look kind of neat on this journal. And then what I did was I just took a little bit of gold metallic paint i had a little accident opening it one time <laughs> that's why that's there but this folk art metallic says um the number is 660 pure gold or pur uh so i just took that on the tip of my finger and just ran it across everything and then i also tipped all of the pages with it yeah just for fun you know so I think it turned out kind of cute. So, um, yeah, let's just run through it real quick. And so today what I thought I would do is the ephemera. So inside each pocket, I've placed a little something for us to decorate. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time decorating this because I feel like this is just going to be one of those fun little things to either tuck inside a journal or attach to a journal or uh, maybe put in someone's stocking or something. And so it's going to have a lot of writing areas on it. So here's the first one. I thought it would go good with this drafting table type of picture. And I did get out my Kathy Holden Flea Market Finds Metal. Let me see here. Okay. I'm going to dump that in here. Let's see if there's anything in there we could use. I was thinking primarily maybe we would find something that we could use on the coach athletic department head. So I'll put that there and we'll go through those here in a minute. Then I also got my Tim Holtz. I, I have a Tim Holtz baggy package of something that has broken open and I can't find where it's coming from. But these were at the bottom of my where I keep my Tim Holtz stuff. So let's dump this. And this is Tim Holtz engraving. Yeah. Okay, let's dump that because we might find stuff in there. 
I thought for sure maybe we'd find something um, like the, a typewriter or something. So I'll put these over here real quick. So I wanted to get that stuff out. <clears throat> I'm going to toss these in there too because I think we'll use those somehow. And then I just got these. These are the ones I, um, last week when I got my little Tim Holtz haul, uh, because I guess they're discontinuing. I thought maybe we could use some of those on, on some of these that we're doing too. So, um, I'll, I'm going to get these out. It looks like they're the same. Let's see if there's just two pages. Yeah, it looks like just two pages and they're the same. So I'll just get the one out and put that one over here. So let's put that here too. And then here are some cutouts I thought we'd use. Oh, I have some more. Let me grab those. Because I thought maybe we'd find... I don't know if I have a football player or anything sports in here or not, but we may. Let's let's just look real quick. There's Mr. Adams. I don't think we're going to use him today. And I don't think we're going to do any formals. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I don't know what I got this out of. It looks like a yearbook. But this guy's smoking, and I don't know if they did that in school. I kind of get a feeling they didn't. So, <laughs> all right, well, let's put that aside, too. Okay, so let's just get something that we think might go well on here. And I would like to have, you know, a picture or two on each one of a student. So maybe what we'll do is just a couple of students out or four I think four would go well there I thought this was really a fun one to do just kind of nostalgic you know so yeah let's just put these guys down like it Maybe we'll put them here. And what could we put next to it? Um, how about take risks? So maybe let's grab. I brought out some of my paper scraps too. Maybe this, yeah. Wow, look how straight I cut, I did that. Wow. And I did change this, so we'll see what happens if I, sometimes when you just change it, you don't get a very good pickup of the ink, but we'll see, because I, I did put some ink on my pad too. Well, Tell you what, let me spray just a mist of water on that sponge. I keep this little guy handy. Okay, I think that'll do it for sure. I think, I think for sure. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it on this first. Yep, yeah, picked it up. All right, good. And let's put this on there. What do we say? Take risks. That needs to be cut off right there. Did I make it big enough? Yeah, barely. Not very even. Okay. 
tidy and then I think I will just kind of edge this a little bit. And glue her down. And we'll have one done. Well, I hope everybody's having a really good day and are you're able to craft or fussy cut or something. I've been fussy cutting by the TV. Uh, last evening I started it and I did. Did I do any this morning? I don't think I did any this morning. Try that, like when I do fussy cut, to, to try to get a few done here and there. You know, goes by pretty fast when you're doing something else. Um, so I'm fussy cutting for an upcoming maybe tomorrow's video we'll see kind of think that's when it's when I'm gonna get to it if I can get it I'll get my fussy cutting done let's see let me just go ahead and do it right here okay I think it's fine let's slide her in Oh, I think I might just go ahead and do the edges here, too. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Just thank you so much for subscribing. I just, Joey and I are tickled pink that you would spend time with us and, uh, you know, hang out with us and watch the videos and on Facebook. And, gosh, if you saw my post last night joey made dinner and um he made like a chicken fried venison it was absolutely delish oh my gosh it was so good i went back for seconds and then when i went in to start tidying up the kitchen i nibbled even more and so not only did joey make a big dinner big he made uh, the country fried venison, you know, which is a nice country fried, kind of chicken fried steak um, breading type of thing. Um, so he made that, baked potatoes. Um, he made stuffed jalapenos. He puts bacon and cream cheese in it and then grills that. And he made... Um, what else was there? there was one other thing oh my gosh his country green beans you know there's he makes them so old-fashioned like grandma's my grandma used to make so good and he cooks it for a long time boils them down and so flavorful I just can't even tell you how good it was it was so good um so then I went in to tidy up the kitchen after we ate, and he said, no, you go on, I'll get it. I cleaned up the whole kitchen and everything. I mean, it's not that he doesn't ever help. It's just that, you know, usually when he cooks, I tidy, you know. But I had the night off. It was super fun. So he's a good one. Okay. All right. I think that's good. Fun. I'll just slide it in there. Okay. Then this one I had a library card. library card let's look through the tim holtz junk and see not junk but you know what i mean stuff stuff and stuff and see if there's anything that can be put on here that would be kind of fun to do i'm gonna close that up okay i'm gonna take a little zip while i look through these sip of my coffee real quick Thank you. 
All right, let's see here. These are kind of fun. I don't go through these very often. Hello, paint. It's funny. <laughs> well, that's fun, that fan. Uh, type. Oh, typewriter. Okay, so this is typing. What else do we have? Sports. Okay. Umbrella and teacup. That teacup's kind of cute. I think I'm going to save this one out just in case I don't find something for the last page. Well, that's kind of fun, too. I think I like that one better. Oh, there's a typewriter coming up. We have one of these. I, I used to have one years and years ago. And I gave... Maybe I gave it to my daughter, my youngest daughter. And it literally looked like this. It looked like it came out of the ocean. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And I, I kept all kinds of stuff in it. I think I gave it to my daughter. Well, anyways, a couple years ago, Joey's cousin brought one and said, Hey, this was your great-grandfather's, I want to say. And uh, it's pretty cool. We have it in the office, but it's also a big trunk, big trunk like that. They're so heavy. You can only slide them. <laughs> well, I say you, I, me, I can only slide them. Um, I don't even know if Joey can. It's so awkward. I don't know if he can actually pick it up or not. So they're just so huge, you know. Okay, so I think we've got two there that we can use. For sure, I'll use the typewriter one. Okay. I think I'm just going to put it down. I think it's going to be a no, no fuss situation. Now I did get these papers out. Do I have any more typing that maybe we can put down? No, it's not really. But let's see what's over here. Kind of want to put put a person or something on there. She looks like she could be taking shorthand. I don't think she is, but she looks like she could. How about we put... typewriter and wrap these ladies around. Let's put them first. I love the hairstyles. I love the glasses. So these are just, you know, not a lot of decorating, just Putting a few images on. Fun images, I would say, too. Oopsie. Cute. Look how sweet this girl is. She's looking right at the camera. It's so sweet. Someone's grandma's now. Maybe even greats. All right, now. How about just putting that right there? I think we'll use the art glitter glue on this. It's kind of a thick card.
it rained this morning was super happy about it but um i was happy about it because i thought my flowers would get watered and that makes me happy but i went out and they don't they don't look like they like the rain really penetrated much now look what i did i got glue there and it discolored it hmm oh boy okay well on to the pickle jar to see what we can find in there maybe we can i don't think this is the a lace type of thing some denim i don't know if this is the right page for denim um, let's see what this is. Wow, that's a long piece. Hmm. Well, too bad that, I, that that happened, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. Well, I don't think I'm going to use that. That was the problem in the first place. That's not too bad, you know, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to cover it up. And I'm just going to use my finger to smish it. Smish it so it hopefully doesn't bleed through too badly. It's just paper, right? Oh boy, I just dropped that lid. Okay. All right. Saved for a minute. So I think what we'll do is put, I think we will, there's a piece, good piece of paper. Good thick piece. This is good thick piece. And let's put a number there. I feel like I have numbers here somewhere. I'm rummaging. Yeah, here they are. Mood tape. Transparent stamp. Hey, there's one too. Typewriter. Scissors desk. That's not what I have. I just have the numbers. Hmm. Alright, let's put a number there. And then maybe we'll cut that out. Use a reach. Oops, in the pickle jar. Okay. Hopefully, the other ones will go a little bit smoother and a little bit quicker. Okay, that's fun. I got this, I want to say, on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure 
but I've used it so many times. Okay, let's see if that will fit in there. Yeah. Okay, good. I just got hungry all of a sudden. Making mistakes makes me hungry. <laughs> oh boy. Always could put that lid on really quick because that glue comes out so fast. All right, let's see what happens. I think we're okay with it. I think we're okay. I think we're going to put it this way. All right. Oh, boy. All right, now what do we have in here? Oh, in this one, we have one of these dividers for index cards. Kind of like sometimes used to have, use these as like address book, you know, kind of instead of an address book. All right. Okay, so this is the one I wanted to see if Kathy had anything. It could go. Some metal. This is kind of fun here. What's this one? I'm having trouble picking stuff up today. It's an award. And I think it would be fun. It would be super fun on there. May have to trim it at the bottom just a little bit. Let's see what else is in here. A lot of metal, little metal-y things and hinges are fun. Keyholes. And just lots of neat embellishments. What's this one? star let's use that oh boy fun fun stuff lots of metal if you've ever been fortunate enough to be at kathy's and rummage through most of these are actually authentic out of her studio these pieces pretty cool if you haven't been to her studio and you're not buddies with her on Instagram Go to Kathy Holden on Instagram and look for her tours and all of her reveals and things like that. It's so fun. So there's another star. Let's grab that if we if I can. Super fun. Uh oh. Sorry, I was hitting you the whole time I did that. These hinges are really fun to, you know, even use. I used them in one journal as a hinge, a literal hinge to put pages together. It was super fun. Those are Spellbinder. This company is Spellbinders that does these. Okay. All right. Let's, let's just put this down on there. This 
So our grandson has his first football game tonight. Super excited for him. It's been just unbelievably hot. I mean, like today it's it's in the um, low 90s, but the heat index because of our high humidity is out of control. And, you know, I just, these kids, when they're, you know, they have a helmet on and they're just playing their heart out. Oh, sometimes I get a little nervous. I don't know if anybody else does, but... I always tell them, make sure you hydrate the day before. Or that's when your body is really absorbing it all. Instead of trying to make up for it. You still have to make up some. You know, you still have to drink and rehydrate. But So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to go around a little bit. Any little glue that's there. I like it. And I like the simplicity of it. While I'm... Putting a little distress ink on, I warm. Rem, I wonder. Oh, I can't think, uh, or can't talk. I'm wondering if we can find a little phrase. There's be brave, but I think I'm gonna put remember this on here because. I think that goes really well with high school and sports. You know, remember this time. Because it goes by so fast. Remember this. I like that. I don't like that these all have these little cut things in them. So yeah, maybe this is a could be a little graduation gift, you know. You could even put a little gift card in one of these pockets. All right, what's in this one? This is just another, uh, or it's a library card, or a library uh, card catalog card. Those too big. Oh, the library club. Library Club. I think I'm gonna do a wrap around. How fun. Oh, I'm also making in the kitchen right now, I'm cooling down some hummingbird juice <laughs> syrup um we still have a lot of hummingbirds and they look like they're getting getting a little thirsty i haven't i haven't uh fed them since they ran out of food okay i think i'm gonna take that down just a little bit more so i don't know if you've ever made hummingbird um, I'm gonna, I gotta get my little cutter out because I can't get that straight. Uh, if you've never made hummingbird syrup, the way I do it is four cups of water and I think I've cut it too crooked here. Four cups of water and one cup of sugar and boil it. Come on. And then um, I cool it really good, like really good. Of course, like I said, 
it's in the 90s outside so it is gonna be a little warm once you get it outside but I cool it down and um, and then I go out and I just fill I fill up the little feeders For some reason that looks doesn't look straight so I think I'm gonna just double check it here and I like to do it because well one I love the hummingbirds but I like to do it because they'll come buzzing around you and it's funny yeah I really cut that crooked or something Top must be crooked. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, hold on. I gotta pick that up. I dropped it on the floor. One moment. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, anything that drops on the floor is not a pretty sight to watch me pick up. <laughs> okay. I think I've got it. Now I'm going to put that there and here I'm going to just make this a pocket. So I'm just going to glue these three sides down. Yeah. Okay. Let me get this. Just make sure that I... There. I just wanted to make sure I didn't glue anything except that those three sides. Hmm. Sounds like a hay truck going by or something. Okay. And just for kicks, I am going to jar picked up. I'm going to put this on the back. I'm gonna give myself a little room here. So I've lost the lid to both my I lost the lid to both of my glues. Probably on the floor somewhere. So this is just going to be something fun on the back. It's um, not really anything that you're going to be able to write on necessarily. Totally did that on the wrong side. Well, maybe you'll be able to write a little bit because I did it on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, it's a total Laverne and Shirley situation today here, isn't it? Only I don't have a partner to get in trouble with or make mistakes with, but probably doing enough for both. But the good thing about it is, is that it's, it's not that big a deal. You know, it sometimes doesn't go as you plan, but it's just not that big a deal. And remember when I was telling you that one of the things I absolutely love about 
junk journaling is that because I tend to be a perfectionist in a lot of aspects of my life, junk journaling puts me in my place, you know? It helps me to a little bit more go with the flow. Oof, I don't even know if I could say that, but I mean, it just helps me to not fret. Just not fret as much about little things like gluing wrong. You know, there was a day that I probably would have taken it all apart. And sometimes I do, and you've seen that. <laughs> Um, or scrapped it and just thrown it in the trash and once in a great while I'll do that but this helps me junk journaling helps me to just figure out a way around it all and not be so concerned with it and you know I feel like for the most part those little mistakes or mishaps or whatever some people call them those happy accidents you know I feel like they um, add character to the to the piece a little bit. I say that as I take a milliliter off of to cinch it up. <laughs> it's a work in I'm a work in progress, that is for sure. Okay, we are almost done. So this does have a little space that you could write on. This is just an extra piece. It's not even one that we planned on. Okay. I'm going to put one of Kathy's stars on there. It'll come out since I can't find my needle again. Oh, there it is. Found it. Hey. Yeah, so that's kind of cute. Will it fit in here? Let's see. Yeah, fits. Little flip out. Wonder if we should put maybe a little bit of something on that too. This is Ford. If I hadn't cut her head off, we might have been able to use her, but as it is, she does not have her whole head. So Let's put a piece of something down. <clears throat> and just use it for writing. Ah, it's not wanting to tear. This is a piece of coffee dyed paper that I did, and it's a really interesting... Oh, let's use this side. That's pretty cool. It's a really interesting paper. I'm not sure. I probably got it at a thrift store or something. I always pick up paper if I find it. And it has a really neat texture to it. It's like... Um, what would I say? A parchment, almost. But it's thick. It's, it feels very thick. Okay. Just a little flip out. 
All right. In you go. And in you go. Good. Now this one, oh, this one, Quizmo. Has anybody ever played that? It's an educational lotto. It was um, Milton Bradley. And it, it's similar to a bingo. This one is multiply. This one is divide. I've never played that or heard of it before. Anyways, I thought we could just put a number or something on it. I just think that looks fine on its own. Just a big fat number. Yeah. See, um, another thing that I need to do soon today, maybe, is over the last few weeks, I've at garage sale or not garage sales, thrift stores have purchased some vintage fabric, including this week while we were at or this weekend while we were at my nephew's. Um, and I need to launder them. I want to show them to you. Um, I bought an absolutely gorgeous panel, drape, not drape, but like, um, what would you call it? It's the sheer. What, you know, is the sheer that goes behind the drape or whatever. So I just use a sheer because we usually have on like bathrooms and bedrooms and stuff, we have the, um, well, I can't say I use shears all the time, but we have the blinds, you know. I think that's good. I like it. Uh, anyways, this shear is so old, and it's it's not like what we have today. So I need to do a delicate wash on it somehow, maybe even just in the sink. Then I also bought, it had it labeled as... Um, a bedspread, but I think I might use it as a cloth or a um, tablecloth. We have kind of, oh about an eight foot farmhouse table um, made out of like reclaimed wood and stuff. But I like to put a tablecloth over it when we have people over for dinner. Okay, will this fit? I wonder if this would fit. I think that looks pretty fun. Yeah, I think they'll fit. They have their sodas. So I want to get that laundered, but it also is fragile. And I just I just want to be able to launder it without unraveling, you know, things unraveling and and we have a front loader. You know, those kind of became the thing. You know, but to be quite honest, I like a top loading machine when I have frat. I mean, I like it in general anyways. It's really my favorite. But for space, we needed to get a top loader so that we could have a stackable in our mudroom. Just, we just didn't have enough space in this little old house. And um, but the top loaders, I think, work really well for soaking and a gentle wash you know and so that's kind of what i miss so hey that looked that looks cute doesn't it put that one in there i like it and then i'm just going to leave everything else blank like that i think that little guy is done maybe we'll find something to put around it fun well, golly, thanks everybody for hanging out with me while we finish these up. Yeah, I think we did. I think we got it. Um, I think we did a good job. Let's let's move it out of the way. Some of my stuff out of the way and um, take a look at what we accomplished. Mishaps and all. All right, and still couldn't find my. Lid. Oh, there's another star. I forgot to use that. We'll find a spot. 
Okay, so here we have this one. I didn't use that either. Okay, we have that one. We have this one. Ended up putting fabric from the pickle jar in it. See? Okay. Let's go in a little bit, see? All right. Okay. All right. And then we have this. And then we have this one. Library. And we have the Quizmo. So yeah, so see, we didn't have to put a whole lot on it, but it did give some personality. Let's see if I can get that up there where you can see. It gave some personality, filled this little guy up. Awesome. Well, thanks again, everybody. We want you to know that we pray blessings over you and just never forget you're so loved. And with that, we'll see you in the next video. And I hope the next video I'm going to reveal... Um, something that's really special and exciting for me. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.